Hello my friends, welcome to your practice. This is a short but hopefully sweet morning practice to get into your body, hopefully to feel some ease and um, start your day. So come onto hands and knees and feel free to take cat and cow however you like. Lately I've been exploring going a little bit faster than normal to feel a sense of shifting my state and lifting my spirits. So an option for you is just to take this real slow or to start to add some speed of your choice, maybe even add your breath as well. So I'm inhaling to round, exhaling to arch, but you can switch it up and explore how it feels for you. And I'm breathing through my nose making sure the movements aren't too wild, <laughs> not too harsh, but definitely warming. So I'm really getting into the spine. And as a point of focus, using my navel, so just lifting and lowering my navel and just letting everything else move however it wants to move. So letting the head go, I'm letting my elbows bend, letting my shoulders round. You can explore this for three, two, one, and then move back into child's pose. Oh, good morning. Straight in there. <laughs> so bum towards your heels. Know that you can put something underneath your bum. If your bum doesn't reach your heels, it's a-okay. You can also support your head. You can make fists with your hands or bring your forehead to the ground, whatever works. Soften the belly, soften the whole front face of your body. And maybe even just explore letting the muscles or like the, the flesh of your back body just to kind of seep and sink down. Take a nice inhale here. Pause at the top. Then open your mouth and exhale. Next inhale. Gently come on up. Then widen the knees and we'll use the right elbow to reach up into the air. So use the elbows returning towards the right. And now sweep that right arm underneath your left. It's going to land on the floor. So right shoulder, right arm, right hand, right side of the head rests. Should feel quite comfortable. There's no strain in the neck at all. And you can use your left fingertips to support you. Maybe walk the hand forward if that feels good. With that left hand, press it into the ground to offer yourself some more rotation. Keep the head nice and rested. Maybe you stay here, maybe you lift the hand and then just tuck it somewhere behind your back. Take a breath, either way, just be where you're at. And then next exhale, just release that left hand to the floor. Let it support you as you inhale up and then take that right elbow up into the air again. Maybe even open up the right arm. Good morning. Then right hand comes down, take a breath. You did that. Left elbow reaches up when you're ready on an inhale then send that left arm underneath you rest left side of the head left arm left hand on the floor you know the drill you can walk that right hand forward if you like either way press the hand down in order to roll that right shoulder back that's plenty unless you feel you want to add a kind of half bind here grabbing somewhere with that right hand anywhere is good if you're doing the half bind, roll that right shoulder back, but keep the head rested, the neck soft, and then we'll slowly come out, pressing that right hand down, and as you inhale, rise on up. Lifting the left elbow up, maybe extending the arm, and then exhale, hand to the floor. Reset the knees as you like. We're gonna come into down dogs. At first, just gonna see how it feels this morning. Find that place, that ground, spread the toes. If you want to take the dog for a walk, bending one knee, straightening the other, depending how energetic you're feeling. If you're feeling sort of quite lethargic, maybe you want to get some movement in here. Maybe kind of more energetic movement, perhaps doing a little take the dog for a jog kind of 
situation. If you're feeling a bit kind of, I don't know, scattered, maybe a bit overwhelmed this morning, maybe it's better for you just to be still. Maybe even soften the down dog, bend the knees, just let the head go. Or just to go back to child's pose, whatever works. Take a breath wherever you're at. And then release knees down to the floor. We're gonna kneel now, so tuck the toes under. You're gonna sit back to open the base of the feet, which is always great to do in the mornings, any time of day, to be honest. Really try and tuck all the toes underneath you. Realize this isn't so comfortable for everybody, so know that you can take breaks, you can come forward, you can explore just releasing the feet as you need to. If you can, staying here, we're just gonna explore a little bit more <laughs> through the base of the feet and playing with our center of gravity. So you can take your arms out in front of you, maybe bend the elbows, and then see if you can lean the weight into your back body and hover the knees. Oof, maybe, maybe. Hug the knees towards each other and start to lift the knees up. We're coming towards a squat. So use your arms for balance as you like. So as the heels come back, let the bum drop. Center of gravity is in the bum, around the pelvis. So use your arms to help you maintain balance as you like. And then try that again. See if you can bring the knees down to the floor. Hug the knees in towards each other. Thighs squeeze towards each other. And then play with lightly bringing the knees to the floor. And then coming all the way up. Let's do that again together. Or not, go at your own pace. Seeing if you can lift the knees, find your squat, rise on up, and then lower the knees real slow. Find your kneeling. <laughs> now let's see if we can do this without like frowning <laughs> and really over concentrating and forcing, because I know, I know I do that <laughs> in this one. So do what you can here to say, stay really soft and receptive to stay with your breath, so you're not controlling the breath here, you're just letting it come. Find your squat, now from your squat you're gonna slide the knees open and then come to sit down. And we're going straight into boat pose, so you can use your arms for support if you like. Tilt the weight back, lift the heels, maybe lift the feet. From here you can keep the knees bent, you can use your hands to support your legs or even bring the hands to the ground, whatever's working. Same thing with the thighs hugging in, knees hugging in, feet hugging in. Squeeze everything in, maybe even take the arms out, maybe extend the feet, maybe clap, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and then you want a sense of pressing down into your bum and feeling that length coming out through the crown of your head. Wherever you are, bend the knees, and then cross the right foot in front of the left, flex the feet, soften the belly. Maybe you stay there, maybe you fold forward. Whatever you do though, in the same way that you were exploring in child's pose, let, let the front body just kind of ooze. <laughs> ooze towards the ground. I like to sway a bit here, but See how you feel. Really nice. As you inhale, come back up. Find your boat pose, any variation. So really charging up, probably gonna feel some heat here. <sighs> Do what you can to stay receptive, open, soft. So any variation of boat. And then option for those of you feeling super hardcore this morning, start to lower the head and lower the feet. You can reach out through your arms if that helps. You're hovering your limbs, the spine rounds, chin moves towards the chest, likely to be trembling, part of the process, and then rise back up. This time, cross left leg in front of the right, soften the belly. Maybe you stay upright, maybe you fold forward, either way. See if you can soften even more with your exhale. So effort and ease. <laughs> We're exploring positive tension. Nice, as you inhale, come on up. 
and then bring both feet to the floor and then bend the left knee, sorry, the left knee even more, bringing the left foot closer towards you. Stretch the right leg out in front of you. It can be bent, that's a-okay. But first of all, find your footprints through that left foot, really spread the toes. And as you find the footprints, you'll probably feel the chest wants to move forward. So let it. Now start to activate the right foot. Maybe you can hover that foot in the air and then see if you can just press down into that left foot. Maybe hover the right foot. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you don't. Any variation of this is A-OK -okay for three, two, <laughs> one. Bring that right heel to the floor. Now use your fingertips to support you as you crawl forward like a little bug. Left knee bends, bring it to the floor, and then start to lift the bum away from the heel like you're going to start a race. Lift up that back knee and then just explore your hamstrings here by just rolling around like a choo-choo train. That's the second time I've said that this week and I've never said it before in my life, but <laughs> if you can't reach the floor here, bring the floor to you. You can always use props like books or blocks, whatever works here. If you prefer to reach the floor, go for it. Whew. Now we're going to set that back knee down to the floor, set the right knee next to it, come to kneel back down. Take a breath. You know where we're going. One more round. So just start to explore playing with your center of gravity. So the tension really is in allowing balance to be ever shifting because it is. This is life. Bringing the knees back to the floor. See if you can touch them down lightly and rise up. <laughs> Try that a couple more times on your own. So often we have this idea about how things need to be. Sometimes it's really fixed, it's not flexible, but actually balance is very fluid. And when we're forcing something, there tends to be unnecessary effort involved, unnecessary tension. So how can we use positive tension to get where we want to go, to do the things we need to do without overdoing it? And I'm doing that meme reference here documentary so you know where we're going separate the knees let the bum sink so you can really let the chest come forward here as you try and lower the bum really slowly straight into boat pose you've got this any variation of boat maybe you're just clapping for yourself <laughs> hi how was your practice i don't know we were just clapping for ourselves using our feet that's normal yeah of course it is <laughs> from here option to take the lower the lower boat pose, oh my goodness, and then rise back up, so cross the right leg in front of left, fold forward if you like, soften the belly either way, inhale, rise up, find the boat, clapping boat, cruise liner, yacht, row boat, <laughs> that's the extent of my boat knowledge even though I'm a seaman, whatever that means, really reach out through your feet, Rise back up, cross the other leg in front, soften the belly. Maybe you fold, maybe you don't. Whatever works, try and be where you're at and really appreciate that. It's a new day. Inhale, come on up. Feet to the floor, bend the knees. Bring the right foot in really close towards your bum. Left leg can extend out for now. But first of all, just explore your footprint through that right foot. So know that we're not symmetrical, the body is not symmetrical. So that's okay. <laughs> so just allow this side to be what it is. Maybe you hover that left heel. Maybe you can press down into the right foot, hover. Maybe you grab the foot. Maybe you don't even lift your bum away from the ground. It's a-okay. It's not about lifting here. It's more about grounding through this right foot. So do what you can here <sighs> for three for two, soften the jaw, soften the tongue, for one, you've got this, all right, now lower that left heel to the floor, use your fingertips and you're going to bend that left knee and crawl forwards, find the choo-choo train, any way you like, and my challenge to you is to stay really grounded through the feet, let the knees bend as they want to, and you can take this super slow if you like, any direction. 
but then just let the upper body do what it wants to do. So quite often we might be holding on, <laughs> trying to control, be rigid and straight. Instead, let's just release that idea and just let it be what it is. So you're grounded through the feet, but everything else is just open, right? So you're starting from this centered place, rooted, connected with integrity, and then just trusting. You've got this lovely, lower the back knee down, bring the left knee to the floor, come back to kneeling. Let's take a down dog, well done. From down dog, take a breath. And then as you inhale, come high onto your tiptoes and lift the chest, look up towards your hands. So we're doing a, a back bend in down dog here. As you exhale, release that. Let's try that again. Inhale high onto your tiptoes and then just start to arch the back. So you're looking up towards your hands, but remembering we're like horses. <laughs> the neck starts really low down on the spine. So lift from that place. And then exhale, release. You're doing great, sweetie. From here, bend the knees, look forward. Step the right foot forward, not quite to your hands. Left hand to left hip. You could use a block underneath your right hand. We're going into half moon pose. I know, I know. <laughs> so set yourself up through that right foot, ground it, just like you've been exploring, and then explore, finding your balance here. So remember, balance isn't static. Maybe you keep both knees bent. Maybe you explore pressing out in all directions, maybe even lifting the left arm, maybe, maybe. And then release back to down dog. Take a breath. Soft jaw, soft tongue. Bend the knees, look forward. Step the left foot forward a little bit. Set yourself up, half moon pose, other side. So gather that energy, center yourself through that left foot and just let everything else be what it's gonna be. So try trusting in the support. I recommend really centering the weight into the heel of your foot, like you're wearing horseshoes. So really distribute the weight there. Maybe expand out. Maybe, maybe. Really nice, and then release. Down dog. Take a breath. From down dog, one by one, just slide the hands towards your feet. Bend the knees as much as you need to to get here. And then take the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and then reach the hands overhead. If you can't interlace the fingers, that's also okay. You could have a strap or a bit of fabric between your hands. Just let that go. Now deepen the bend in the knees, really ground the weight through your heels, particularly outer heels. Start to press the knuckles back as you lift the chest and then rise all the way up to standing. Keep lifting the chest, then exhale and fold. Maybe straightening out the legs, maybe not. Next inhale, again, coming through this weird chair pose, lift the chest, it's like chair with a back bend, rise on up, <laughs> very energizing, <laughs> exhale and fold. <sighs> One more time here, press into your outer heels, slowly start to rise on up, come all the way up to standing, and exhale, release the hands. Take a moment here, just grounding in space. Just really resting into your footprints. Maybe you feel the kind of flickers or the pulsations of circulation. But still staying grounded through your feet, just allowing that energy to kind of draw up rise up nice now let's close with the final standing balance tree pose so bring the weight into your right foot left knee lifts turn the knee out to the side find your tree any variation of tree just holding in maybe reaching arms up all the way up so it's imagine you're sucking 
the energy up from the ground, especially through that horseshoe of your heel, all the way up, 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 and not just the front body, but the back body too. Feel the broadening, the length, the energy rising, and then release. Swapping sides, so shifting the weight, playing with that ever shifting, ever twisting, turning thing that is life. <laughs> Expecting the unexpected, but staying grounded, staying rooted, press into your foot. So with the knee that's bent, where whatever height it's at, just send the knee diagonally away from you, and then draw the energy up. If you're feeling a bit wobbly today, just do this near a wall. You're doing great. One more breath here, rise up, 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 but stay rooted. You've got this. And then release, come to center. Just take a moment, bring the palms together at your chest. Just symbolic of everything coming together, all parts of you, all experiences, just drawing in and trusting that you've got this, trusting that you've got this stable space you can always come back to. So maybe take a little foot dance, <laughs> release the hands, maybe give the feet a little shake and a little bit of love. Hi feet, thank you very much. I hope that wasn't too weird and I hope you feel good. Now we're ready, let's go, let's roll. Where are we off to? In the house. Thanks for watching and let me know how your practice was. I appreciate you. <laughs>